if you have people that grew up with you, family members, loved ones, homies, co-workers, all say that you ain't shit, then apparently you must not be shit. The link for this article will be in the description. So, according to Complex.com, Dame Dash on Jay-Z's NFL deal, it's common knowledge that Jay ain't shit. Now, Dame Dash suffers from a particularly uh, biblical sort of curse. He turns into a pillar of salt anytime he looks back at the partnership with Jay-Z. Now, for people that don't know, Dame Dash and Jay-Z both were co-owners of Rockefeller. But it was a time when Dame Dash was the man, the owner of Rockefeller and to Jay-Z backstabbed him and took over the whole thing. Shall I continue on? With people piling on Jigga over his NFL deal, you know that Dash had to find a mic fast. So in an interview uh, with Adam22 of No Jumper, Dame addressed the rumor that Jay-Z snaked Jermaine Dupri to get a deal with the NFL. Flex and Michael Cox claimed that Jay talked Dupri out of working with the NFL, then turned around and secured a partnership for himself. Dash couldn't be less surprised. I mean, everybody knows Jay ain't shit, Dash. If you ask anyone in the industry, it's a common knowledge that Jay ain't shit. Dash explained that Jay has no motivations beyond money and claimed that he regularly sips small fries, knowing that they don't have a platform to push back. He's about the bag. We all know that. He's self-preserved, period. It's just that the people he does it to don't have Beyonce next to him. He said they don't have that kind of power. But this dude here, he's... Everyone's looking. Dupree denied the idea that Jay-Z talked him out of working with the NFL on Atlanta's V103, but he did admit that a conversation happened with Jay let Dupree know he had his back. He and I never had a conversation where he told me, don't do what you're doing, he said. But our conversation was that you know what side I'm on. I understand what you're doing. That's what the conversation so Jay-Z is known for um, backstabbing. When he was at Def Jam as the president, DMX, Method Man, like a lot of the OGs that were there said, even LL Cool J said Jay-Z was shitting on them, putting out his album before he would his own uh, artist. He was promoting himself and he was the president. If that's not selfish, I don't know what is. And, this man, Dame Dash, um, for people that don't know anything about Jay-Z, due to history, uh, look at the beginning of Rockefeller, you wouldn't see for at least 10 years Jay-Z without Dame Dash there. Like brothers, man, and they were in all the videos. This man is the reason Jay-Z is a big mega star. He is probably, I'll say 60 to 70% the reason Jay-Z is where he at because of the promotion he put into his albums and putting his name out there. Like he did he done a lot for Jay, man. But for him to say Jay-Z ain't shit, I believe. Him. Like this video, leave your comments, share this on social media, Twitter, Instagram, as well as YouTube, and subscribe later.